Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. I'm excited to share another stove with you today. And this stove is the Ollie Camp Accelerator Stove that comes in a kit with the Ollie Camp XTS uh, pot. So what I want to just talk about primarily is the stove and then we'll talk about the pot. But the reason I want to spend so much time on the stove is this is a really lightweight titanium stove so literally you're looking at three and a half ounces for this whole piece here and what I want to do is compare this stove a little bit to the GSI pinnacle four season stove which I have done a couple videos on so far and this is uh, technically a four season stove so not a direct comparison between the two because the XTS stove i would not consider a four season stove because it does not have a liquid feed option like the gsi does with uh, this piece here so that you can actually invert the canister and have a liquid feed but i want to compare some of the aspects of the gsi stove to the accelerator stove because they are both remote canister stoves. So let's go ahead and dive into it. There are a few things about the Ollie Camp that I don't necessarily like, but for the most part, a really, really cool, lightweight titanium stove. So I wanna go ahead and dive into what's frustrating to me as a user uh, in the time that I've used it so far. And that is on the braided cable here the gas cable there is not any kind of a swivel right here so what happens when I attach this to the canister is so I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on once I get the canister on it just turns on its side and it takes a lot of like manipulation with the see and this was like my first impression of this, like how frustrating it was to find the right place for this to be able to stand on its own. And you might be saying to yourself like, okay, that's really not that big of a deal. But if I ever take the pot off of the stove, so once I put the pot on there, it's fine. But once I take the pot off, that turns. And if I've got this turned on all the way and I don't turn it off before I take the pot off, which is bound to happen in some way or another, then I've got the possibility of an accident or some kind of fire taking place because this won't stay down on its own. With it being so light, um, that's probably the, the reason that it does it, but I have not been able to find a way consistently to get this without like trying to bend the cable for it to just like stand on its own. But let's go ahead and talk about all of the different features about it. So titanium throughout most of the stove, the legs and the burner and the, uh, the cylinder here and all of that, all of those parts right here are the titanium. And then you've got a uh, aluminum piece here at the bottom. And then the braided cable, which is obviously not titanium, but everything else on there, uh, titanium. So ooh, look at that. Okay, now it's standing up on its own and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on. For the most part, I'm really excited about this. But something that just like really frustrates me about a stove is if I ever have to worry about something going wrong with it that makes it not safe. And with it being so light and that braided cable coming off like that with the weight, that just makes me really nervous and having to constantly play with it to get it in the right position makes me really nervous. And so that is something that I wanna just point out when you're considering purchasing this for yourself but the 9,000 or so BTUs that crank on this thing, it's really, really cool. So it's a fairly quiet stove. Burner on it is nice and wide, so you're gonna get a really good wide burn on your stove. And if you are purchasing this in the kit with the XTS pot, this pot has these like pieces on here 
like the corrugations of aluminum that allow this to get really, really fast boil times. So we're gonna go ahead and put some water in here and I'm gonna crank this up and just see how well this thing boils and how quickly it boils. But for a kit of the stove and the pot to come together, it's a pretty cool deal and it's a nice kit. This is a one liter pot. So it's a good lightweight, it's about six ounce pot. So it's an, it's an anodized aluminum, but having those like corrugated pieces of aluminum there on the bottom just allows for really nice heat transfer and having that makes for really fast boil times. So if you're looking to get really fast boil times in a lightweight package, then this is going to be a good option for you. But it's a little bulky, but for the most part, really, really cool. Okay, so just a couple things to note about the pot itself. You do have graduation marks on the inside that go from eight ounces, 16 ounces, 24 to 32 ounces. Um, so there is no kind of like Teflon coating or anything on this. But we're gonna go ahead and put 16 ounces of water in here. So half a liter. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see how quickly this boils. So a couple things about it that I really like as we're sitting here waiting for this to boil is I like how wide the the pot stand is. It's a it's got three prongs or three stands coming off of it and it's really stable once you get the weight and everything on it and I can just like really see steam coming out of it now but I can see how well that corrugated um, aluminum around the bottom is creating a lot of heat, heat transfer on this right now and we're almost that's really hot we're already to a rolling boil. So that was roughly two and a half minutes is all to get that into a rolling boil. That's really, really impressive. And I'm gonna attribute that to the uh, bottom of the pot having that corrugated aluminum, like I've said a couple times already, and it just giving it a lot of really good heat transfer. So really fast boil time, that's really impressive. And the construction of the pot seems to be really nice. And that's something that uh, excites me about it. Six and a half ounces or so with the pot is, is really great. It comes with this like plastic lid. Um, getting that off with all that steam uh, did burn my thumb a little bit. But for the most part, guys, um, aside from the fact that it worries me that this stove can be a little bit tippy. Um, it burns really hot. I like how wide the burner is and how wide the pot stands are. The bag that it comes in, I honestly believe is a little useless. And the reason that I say that is it doesn't compact or get down into a really, really small package. And it's small enough to be able to get it inside of the pot. In fact, I can get the stove a lighter and this 100 gram canister of fuel inside of the XTS pot. Um, so as a kit, this is a really, really neat cook system. But it does make me nervous that the pot or that the stove does not stand down on its own. And I want to just give that comparison to the GSI stove that on the cable right here it has a swivel action to it. So it makes it really easy for this to stand on its own so that you don't have to worry about this flipping down onto its side or doing like what the, uh, the Ollie Camp is doing right now. So that's just a personal thing that is kind of annoying um, and it's a safety thing for me and I've talked about it way too long at this point, but I love the size of the burner compared to the size of the burner on the GSI and using this as a three season stove, I think it's a great, great option. So there you go, the accelerator stove, a titanium stove, three and a half ounces next to the GSI Pinnacle 
four season stove at about six and a half ounces. Both are fantastic stoves, but for a kit to be able to get this one liter pot with the ability to have that really nice heat transfer on the bottom. So I'll just show you that there again makes for really fast boil time. So comparing this to like a jet boil, I think that the Ollie Camp has done a fantastic job of just creating a really good product uh, that makes a lot of sense. So it's made well, it works, the burn is really hot on it, and it's a great stove. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hope you have an awesome day.